on the ground in Westminster <clears throat> for us is our political editor, Darren McCaffrey. Darren, what did you make of Boris Johnson's last but one Prime Minister's questions? Well, this is a big question, isn't it, Glory? Is it the last but one? Prime Minister very much given the impression throughout that entire PMQs that he may not be around next week. There is meant to be a scheduled PMQs next Wednesday before Parliament goes into its summer recess. Is he planning not to turn up? Could he go on a foreign trip? Might he pop up in Ukraine? Whatever the case is, he repeatedly, as I said, give the impression that that was it. So we may well have had Boris Johnson's last ever Prime Minister question. We'll have to wait and see. I'm sure his spokesperson who is fielding questions from journalists at the moment will be asked on that. In many regards, I think the thing to take away, though, even though it was Boris Johnson's last PMQs, actually it wasn't really focused on Boris Johnson at all. It is amazing in politics how quickly focus and power shifts uh, when politics moves. Uh, Keir Starmer's questions all about those candidates running to replace Boris Johnson, about non-don status, about their intention, as you say, potentially to cut public spending and indeed uh, taxation. Uh, and that is where the focus is, because later on today we're going to have that first round of the ballot of Conservative MPs. Those results are around, expected around 5 p.m. The politics here at Westminster has very much moved away from Boris Johnson, whether it is his last PMQs or not, and focused on who is going to succeed him. Well, you've got a busy day ahead, as have all those Conservative MPs.